Let's take a look at how to multiply decimals using grids. Use the model to complete the multiplication sentence. Okay, well, first of all, I want you to take a look at this model and notice a couple things. Notice its height is 10 boxes tall. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so I have 10 total boxes in this direction, and its width is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes wide. So I've got a total of 10 boxes in this direction. Now the reason for that, when we're working with decimals, it's always going to be a 10 by 10 grid because our number system, or our place value, is based on the number 10. Okay, so let's look in this vertical direction. We said there were 10 total boxes, and I can see that only one of them is shaded in blue. So as a fraction, we would say that is 1 out of 10, or 1 tenth. That is the exact same thing as saying 1 tenth as a decimal. This decimal would be set as 1 tenth because we have 1 and it's in the tenths place. So this is the decimal 1 tenth. Okay, for the other direction, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 boxes shaded in tan out of a total of 10. So as a fraction, you could think of that as 5 tenths, right? 5 out of 10. So as a decimal to write 5 tenths, we would write it like this, 0 0.5. And notice it's the same idea. We have 5 in the tenths place. So that would be 5 tenths. Now notice the answer they gave us was 0 0.05, which if you were to read that out loud, you would say is 5 hundredths, because the 5 is in the hundredths place. Okay, if you look at your model, well, we had 10 boxes across and 10 boxes high. So that would be 100 boxes total, right? If we counted them up, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Right, I'm counting by 10 since there's 10 in each row. So out of that 100 total boxes, we can look and see how many are shaded both tan and blue, right? That would be our answer to the multiplication part. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five shaded both colors. So that's five out of 100 or five hundredths. Okay, we're going to use our model again to complete the sentence. Now notice it's the same grid, right? It's a 10 by 10 grid. So it's 10 boxes tall and it's 10 boxes wide, which means that it has a total of 100 boxes, right? So same grid we saw just a moment ago. Okay, well, this 1 tenth must be the pink side. Right? because I have one pink box out of 10 boxes, so that's one out of 10, or one tenth. Remember that one in the tenths place means one tenth as well. So we want to say, well, what is the missing decimal or the one in this direction? Well, for the yellow side, there's one, two, three boxes shaded yellow out of a total of 10. So three tenths, as a decimal, we would write that like this, 0.3 right? Because three is in the tenths place. Now notice our answer. This would be said three hundredths because the three is in the hundredths place. Okay, well that's the same thing as what you see in the model here because we said there was a hundred total boxes and of those hundred total boxes, you can see that three of them are shaded in pink and yellow. So that would be three out of 100 or three hundredths. Okay, 0 0.5 times what would give us 0 0.15 or five tenths times what would give us 15 hundredths. Okay, well the five, that would have to be this side because I can see that I have one, two, three, four, five yellow boxes out of a total of 10. So that's where they're getting five tenths from. 
So to figure out the missing number, I would want to count in the other direction, right? So in across the top or on the blue side, I can see I have three shaded in blue boxes out of a total of 10, which was three tenths. As a decimal, I would write that like this, three tenths. Three is in the tenths place. Now notice the answer they gave me was 15 hundredths, right? 15 is in the hundredths place. Well, of the 100 total boxes, we can count 15 that are shaded both blue and yellow, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, 1 tenth times 5 tenths equals what? Okay, well, the 1 tenth would have to be this side, right? Because I have 1 pink or violet shaded box out of a total of 10. And the 5 tenths would have to be this side because you can see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 kind of teal colored shaded boxes out of a total of 10. Well, to get my answer, let's look at how many boxes are shaded in both colors. This section here are shaded both the teal and the violet color. There's one, two, three, four, five of them. Out of my total number of boxes, well, we've counted this up for a couple grids. Remember, we said the total is 100. So five out of 100, or five hundredths, means I have to put five in the hundredths place. So not the first decimal place, that would be the tenths place. The second one, that would be the hundredths place. So one tenth times five tenths equals five hundredths.